Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here at the Maker's Workbench. Um, I just want to get straight out front here and tell you this is an accompanying video for a project tutorial I built for the Halloween 17 events over at element14.com. If you want to check out the full tutorial and see how I made a really cool illuminated candy bucket, then hit up the link in the description below. If you came here from Element 14 and want to learn how this code works, then get ready because here we go. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is add a on start um, from our basic tab in the Microsoft uh, microbit block editor at makecode.microbit.org. Um, once that's there, we need to define a variable. Um, so I've already done this, so we need to define the strip variable. To do that, you would click make a variable and type strip in there. Um, so we're going to define our variable of strip and we're going to grab set a variable to whatever so we're going to set strip and then we're going to come down to neopixels because we need to initialize the neopixel strip um, we do that by dragging that and locking it there everything here fits together like a puzzle um, it's kind of hard to screw things up if uh, you're having trouble with this there are several tutorials on the microbit website on how to use this so I would suggest looking at them um, so let's keep going. So what this does is this this defines our NeoPixel strip as using pin zero for the data, 24 LEDs in the RGB GRB format. Um, so the next thing we do is set up another variable, and this time we need to create a variable called mode. And once mode's created, we're going to grab the uh, set variable again, and we're going to set mode to true. To do that, we need to come and grab some logic. We need to grab the true logic here and snap it in right there. Um, the next thing we need to do is set up our accelerometer range. Um, you can actually do this anywhere in this early code, but I just like to do it right here. It just makes more sense to me. So we'll come to our input tab and then click the uh, more and click set or drag set accelerometer range. And we're going to change this to eight grams. Um, I've tried all four of these, one, two, four, and eight, and it seems that eight works the best for this code. So that's what we're going with. Um, the next thing we need to do is some more NeoPixel stuff. So we need to set the strip to clear. So that's just going to clear things for us. Um, so we're going to come and grab set strip clear. And we also need to define the strip brightness now. So we're going to do that and go to the more tab under NeoPixel and grab the variable set brightness so we're gonna uh, strip set brightness 255 255 is the uh, maximum brightness for neopixels um, so the next thing we need to do is move on and add a while do loop so basically what this is gonna say is while something do this so we're gonna while true do and the first thing we want to do from that is we want to come to our logic and grab an if then else statement. Um, the first thing we want to add to our if then else statement is if button A is pressed, then we want to grab our variable um, and set mode to logic true. Now we want to uh, also notify us of what mode we're in, so we're going to come up to the basic tab and grab the show LEDs uh, function, and we're going to show the number one. So it's easy to draw, you just grab these little pixels, and these display on the matrix on the micro bit um, right here. So we're going to grab and come down and just draw a one, and it's that simple. Now we want to grab an if then statement and we're going to grab it in our else. So while true, if button A is pressed, then set mode to true. So that sets our mode variable to true and then it displays the number one on the LED matrix. Now what do we do if the mode is not set to true? Or how do we set the mode to false? And to do that we need to grab a variable Um, I'm sorry, before we do that we need to grab our input and if 
button B is pressed. Then we grab our variable and we're going to set mode to false. So go to logic, grab false, drop it in. Now we want to display the number 2 on the LED, the LED matrix. Let's drop our show LEDs there and draw a 2. And it's just simple drawing a 2. It's just like that. Alright, so now we need to figure out what we're going to do uh, when the mode is true and when the mode is false. So to do that we're going to grab another if then else statement if then else and we're going to drop it right there and we're going to say um, if mode equals true to do that we're going to grab logic and we're going to grab our equals logic and we're going to drop in our uh, variable mode right here if mode equals logic true then we're going to uh, display the static rainbow animation. So come down to NeoPixel and click the uh, show rainbow from and we want to show strip show rainbow from 1 to 360. Um, normally you have to add the uh, strip dot show to the end but um, when you're using this blocks editor with this version of the NeoPixel library it does it for you within this block. It doesn't do it in any other blocks but the rainbow show rainbow from it works in that um, and that's what will happen if our mode is true it will display that static rainbow um, now we need to do if our mode is false we need to build our animation we want it to display so the first thing we're going to do next we're going to grab another if statement and we'll grab some logic we'll drop it right there else if logic then grab our equals and we're going to grab our mode variable and then we're going to come back and grab false logic. Mm -hmm. False logic. See what I did there? Okay. So if mode equals false, then we need to build up our thing. Before we get started on building the animation, we need to declare a couple more variables. So click make variable and build an x variable, a y variable, and a z variable. When you're done with that, we're going to grab some more math. So we're going to grab the set item 2 and we're going to set this to X. Now we need to grab some accelerometer control. Um, to do that we need to first grab some logic, I'm sorry, we need to grab some math and we need to grab the minus math, drop it right there, then come up to input and grab the acceleration uh, milligrams. We're going to drop that right there and what we want to say is set X to X minus 55. So click there and do 55. Now instead of, we have to repeat this two more times, so instead of just rebuilding all that we're just going to right click, duplicate, drag it and drop it in and change our variable. So now we want to change set y to y and then we want to uh, multiply this by 2. And we're just going to copy this one more time drop it right there and it's going to be another times 2 but this one will be Z and we'll set this one to Z so basically what that does is that setting variables that are tied to the various uh, X Y and Z axes on the accelerometer that's built into the BBC micro bit so now what we need to do is we need to actually build the animation so to do that, we're going to grab, uh, come to the NeoPixel library, and set the. Uh, we're going to grab the uh, set pixel color at, right here. Set pixel color at, and we're going to drop it right here. We're going to set this to strip set pixel color at zero. So that's going to set it the very first pixel in the strip to color. I mean at the zero spot, so the very first pixel, to whatever color we define. So um, since we want to set it a random mixture of colors from the RGB spectrum based on the X, Y, and Z coordinates our board is currently at, we need to come back into the NeoPixel 
library and come to more and we need to grab this right here the uh, color palette and we're gonna drop it right there now what we want to do and we're not done is we want to take the red channel here and we're gonna set it to our variable X then we're gonna set the variable Y to our green channel and our blue channel is a little special so we're gonna grab some math and we're gonna grab the uh, minus math and we're gonna drop it right there now we need to set um, our Z and uh, so we're gonna grab our variable Z and we're gonna just have it minus Z blue is zero minus Z I don't know why you have to have the zero minus Z instead of just Z in my case I could only get the animation I wanted to work if I had zero minus Z set there um, I messed around with this for probably five or six hours before I figured out that was the issue I was having it didn't make any sense to me why, why it wasn't working and I even reached out to people for help and this is the solution that I came up with it works for me I don't know if it's the correct way to do it with this library um, but it works for me so now that we have this done let me explain what's gonna happen so when the accelerometer senses uh, movement in any of the axes or any of the axis it's going to uh, take and set the first pixel on the NeoPixel strip to a color based on the RGB values from X Y and Z which are handled with the math right here but that's just going to display one color at one pixel so we want that color to shift all the way down our line of 24 pixels or 25 pixels however you decided to uh, wire up your strips we want it to shift that color all the way down by one pixel all the way down the strip and fill in the first pixel again with a new random color um, based off the accelerometer um, data so the way this works is we need to add in something that will shift that pixel down so that's pretty simple um, and we just grab this uh, right here this shift pixel by function and we're just gonna set a strip shift pixel by one so that's gonna move it down one fill in the blank move it down by one fill in the blank um, but unlike our show dot rainbow up here what we have to do now is actually do the strip dot show and if you have used NeoPixels in Arduino or MicroPython you're familiar with that so we just grab here um, in the NeoPixel library and grab this variable and set it to a uh, strip show and um, now we have one more problem to take care of so right now the way this works is when it shifts that one pixel over it's doing it at the same speed the processor is running this loop which is very very fast um, so to slow that down a little we need to just add a basic pause here so we're just kind of basic and grab a pause and we're just going to tell it to pause for 50 milliseconds before running this loop again so once it runs this loop again what it will happen is um, it'll go through the motions right here so it'll it'll check everything assign a pixel a color and then shift that pixel by one then it will wait 50 milliseconds before it does it again um, and that just makes our animation possible to be seen um, with the human eye otherwise it's so fast you can't really tell that anything's happening so that's it that's the code for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more uh, tutorials like this on the BBC Microbit leave me a comment down below um, on this YouTube video and head over to the link below on element 14 and and just leave a comment letting everyone know that you would like to see more stuff like this and then maybe I'll get assigned more projects with the micro bit um, I thank you for watching um, and I hope you learned something and I hope this project is really fun for you and your children um, so that's gonna wrap up this uh, thanks for watching and as always hack the world and make awesome <laughs>